In the world of web development, there are numerous frameworks and libraries available to choose from, each with its own set of features and benefits. Two popular options for building web applications are NetBlazer and React. In this video, we will explain the details of both technologies and provide a comprehensive comparison to help you make an informed and better decision. Overview of Blazor Number 1. What is Blazor? Blazor is a web framework developed by Microsoft that allows developers to build interactive web applications using C Sharp and .NET. It provides the flexibility of using a single programming language across the entire web development stack, including the client side and server side. How does Blazor work? Blazor follows a component-based architecture where the application is divided into reusable components. These components are written in C-sharp and Razor syntax, which allows for seamless integration between the server and the client. Blazor leverages WebAssembly to run the client-side code in the browser, resulting in highly interactive and performant applications. Advantages of Blazor Number 1. Seamless Integration Blazor allows developers to leverage their existing knowledge of C-sharp and .NET to build web applications, eliminating the need to learn additional languages or frameworks. Number 2. Code sharing. With Blazor, developers can share code between the client and the server, reducing duplication and improving maintainability. Number 3. Performance. Blazor applications are compiled to WebAssembly, which provides near-native performance in the browser. Number 4. Full-stack development. Blazor enables developers to build full-stack web applications using a single programming language, resulting in improved productivity. Overview of React. What is React? React is a JavaScript library for building user interfaces. It was developed by Facebook and has gained immense popularity in the web development community. React follows a component-based approach and emphasizes reusability and modularity. How does React work? React uses a virtual DOM to efficiently update and render components. When there is a change in the application state, React compares the virtual DOM with the actual DOM and only updates the necessary parts resulting in faster rendering and improved performance. Advantages of React Number 1. Component Reusability React encourages the creation of reusable components, which leads to better code organization and maintainability. Number 2. Virtual DOM The use of a virtual DOM allows React to efficiently update and render components, resulting in improved performance. Number 3. Large Community and Ecosystem React has a vast community of developers and a rich ecosystem of libraries and tools, making it easy to find support and resources. Number 4. Flexibility React can be used to build not only web applications, but also mobile applications using frameworks like React Native. Comparison between Blazor and React Now, let's dive into a detailed comparison between Blazor and React based on various factors. Language and Syntax Blazor allows developers to use C-sharp and Razor syntax for building applications. This is advantageous for developers who are already familiar with the .NET ecosystem and prefer working with C-sharp. On the other hand, React uses JavaScript, which is a widely adopted language in web development. Performance, both Blazor and React can deliver high-performance web applications. Blazor leverages WebAssembly, which provides near-native performance in the browser. React, on the other hand, uses a virtual DOM and efficiently updates components, resulting in fast rendering. The choice between the two depends on the specific requirements of your application. Developer experience, when it comes to developer experience, Blazor has the advantage of offering a unified development experience using C Sharp and .NET throughout the entire web application stack. React, on the other hand, has a large and active community, which means there are abundant resources and third-party libraries available. Community and Ecosystem React has a larger community and a well-established ecosystem of libraries, tools, and frameworks. This means that finding support, documentation, and ready-to-use solutions is relatively easier. Blazor, being a relatively newer technology, has a smaller community and a growing ecosystem. Scalability, both Blazor and React are scalable technologies. However, the choice depends on the specific requirements and architecture of your application. Blazor is well-suited for building enterprise-level applications that leverage the .NET ecosystem, React. On the other hand, is widely adopted for building scalable web applications, and its ecosystem offers various solutions for scaling. Learning Curve 
Blazor provides a smoother learning curve for developers who are already familiar with C-Sharp and .NET. React, although it has a steeper learning curve, offers a vast amount of learning resources and documentation, making it accessible to developers of various skill levels. When to choose NetBlazor, number one, if you are already familiar with the .NET ecosystem and prefer working with C Sharp, number two, if you need to build enterprise level applications that leverage the .NET ecosystem, number three, if you want a unified development experience using C Sharp and .NET throughout the web application stack, when to choose React, number one, if you prefer using JavaScript and have a good understanding of its ecosystem, number two, if you need a highly scalable and widely adopted technology for building web applications. Number three, if you want to build not only web applications, but also mobile applications using React Native. Conclusion, both Blazor and React are powerful technologies for building web applications. Blazor offers a unified development experience using C Sharp and .NET, while React provides a flexible and scalable solution using JavaScript. The choice between the two depends on your familiarity with the respective languages, the specific requirements of your project, and the ecosystem you prefer to work with. It's important to consider factors such as performance, developer experience, community support, and scalability when making a decision.